Hey, love thugs, it's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you send me as well as you're giving out to yourself and giving out to the world is greatly appreciated. And for the videos that I've made, it's giving you confirmation and validation on things that you're going through that know that you are not crazy and you're not alone so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i'd love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up to me about your impact the gifts and how it impacts your life and you towards a positive direction also if you feel like uh the videos gave you good information or just good vibes you would love to share with a loved one or just a fellow empath that you know that needs to hear this now, right now please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and once again, thank you so much for stopping by the channel and sending me so much love and support is greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to uh, resonate with the content of my video today. Uh, today, the meditation music that I'm using is so beautiful because y'all know I love, 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 love. If it's not binary beats, it's anything, pretty much anything with Buddha on the front of it. And I really love that. Let me see if I can show y'all what it is. Cause you, oh, there it goes kind of see it the outcome i don't know why it's so bright but you know there it goes i really love the it gives you some kind of peace and confirmation you know what i'm saying anytime i don't know about you but anytime i see like images of buddha it just puts me in a zen a zen feeling and i really love that especially with you being a, you know an empath and a hey -oh we always got crazy energy flowing around with us but anyways um I don't know if I said the meditation, the name of it is called Remove Subconscious Negative Blocks, Wipe Out Negative Energy, Dissolve Negative Thought Patterns, and I will post that link in the description box below. I love the music they have, but I've been very cautious because I know that certain people use different devices, you know, to watch my videos on, so I try not to get music that has that, like, ding, you know, loud, you know, ping noises because I know it can vibrate and sound totally different than what it actually does, you know, when I'm hearing it, so I try to be you know, cautious on how people are able to hear it and it might be perceived different. But, um, today my video is about, um, Twin Flame 101, feeling the higher frequencies that you are manifesting, you know, since we have all been, you know, um, been activated, it's been really crazy and y'all if you already watched my first video about the twin flame i do truly apologize i hate being emotional uh it's like that's why i try not to mention my dad a lot because i notice there's sometimes it's like a trigger for me if i start talking about him sometimes i'll start crying because i've been really in that you know he gets mad he don't get mad at me but he gets frustrated with me when i say you know i really miss him a lot because he's like he is me and i am him you know with the spiritual connection we've been a lot closer but it's like since that's happened it has triggered me in different ways that i didn't even realize it does i don't know where that comes from but it, it gives me that separation anxiety like i need to feel him like even though we're close I, I, that's not close enough for me you know but you know hey it is what it is but i do apologize for that because i really don't like getting emotional on video you know usually i try to stop that i'm like holding it in like you'll see me look somewhere else different i'm like think about something else think about something else and then it comes out anyway because it's just i don't want nobody thinking i'm trying to get attention or whatever but with you being an empath you can feel when somebody's you know feeling emotional or whatever so you you pretty much know when somebody's you know faking it or anything like that but i just really don't like doing that but they powers to be tell me you know, they need to see that side of you. Let people know that you are human as well as, you know, everybody has their, their moments. So I'm just going ahead and putting that disclaimer out there. But anyways, it's just like since we've been activated, I don't know about y'all, but it's like, you know, people, it, it's like, especially my one-on-ones, they can send me certain pictures of certain things and I'm like, ugh, oh my God, I can feel certain things. What it is, it's like everything is intensified. It's like if you, if you know, if you're a mother, 
and you've had children, you know, some of us has, you know, been blessed to not have like morning sicknesses or whatever, but it's just like if you, like if you're sick, even with men, you know, I know men can't describe about what women go through because some of them go through the sympathy with their wives and stuff like that or their baby's moms or whatever. But there's times like when our hormones change, we smell everything. It's like everything is more intensified than it usually would if you're not pregnant or if it's somebody who's sick that, you know, gets nauseous after just certain smells. That, that's what it feels like to me. It's like, basically it is like a rebirth because we are being reborn. It's like everything is getting stronger. You, you're on that higher frequency and it's just like since you've been activated everything's a lot more intensified than it usually is because it's like I can see certain things it's like certain things I can't watch just because I've I, I feel it is it's like even if I watch only watch reality shows certain shows I watch I like uh watch this new one they have coming out called the cartel crew from my um uh, from uh, Miami is like certain things that they talk about because their family used to be in the drug cartel and it's like a really sensitive subject for them and they get really upset all of a sudden I'll burst out into tears or I, I can tell if somebody's just doing this just to be on TV I'm like they're not really in the moment but they're trying to make them you know because some people they ask them to do that just you know just to get the reactions out of certain people because it is a reality show but there are certain things you can tell that uh that people, you know, it's a sore subject for them because it was just like on the cartel crew. They were talking about Griselda Blanco. And she was a, a well-known drug cartel back in the day, you know. And I can really feel for her son, you know, losing his mom. Because that, you know, you never, <laughs> you can't even imagine when somebody's seen like 22 of their family members just murdered in front of them. And I'm just like, oh my God, and I'm feeling everything that's this man's going through and I'm starting to hear his mom talking to me in different languages and I'm like whoa this is just too much you know how you know how is this even happening it's different when I'm talking one-on-one -on -one with somebody and their loved ones come pinging through but when it's coming through on TV that's a little bit too much for me and I'm just like wow why is this woman talking to me and telling me certain things I know there shouldn't be some things I should know but she was like tell my son da -da 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 -da. and I'm like oh no <laughs> I was like no and she was like please please you know and she was just telling me certain things that you know I have no way of knowing because it's crazy when I'm able to do that to some of my friends especially if they have loved ones that have passed there's things that there's no way I should be able to know without their spirit of their loved one coming back and telling me certain things they know they were the only one would know this just to let them know that is them so you know I want y'all to drop me a line let me know since you've been the one activated because I've told y'all these are the things you need to look for you'll be more sensitive towards things than you usually were you know whatever your gift is it has gotten intensified they will make you face certain things that you know you do not want to even think about no more but they're making you face it so you can heal from it and let it go don't think the universe or God is punishing you. No, because they're getting you ready for whatever is coming and whatever is coming. They don't need you to have anything that's going to get in the way of that. So they're making you face all that stuff now. Like with my father, I've, I've had to face a lot of things where if there are certain things that's still a sore subject for me that my family has done to me, they make me face that. You know, and it's like I, I was going through my emotions about it yesterday, even though I left it alone, but all of a sudden it triggered back to me. Like, why am I still feeling this way? I get angry with myself, like, you know, telling God it's not fair what my family did to me, you know, they're, you know, what they've done to my father, and they're still walking around here. You know, I, I've gotten to that point where I'm like, I need them to get, you know, I don't, I don't wish nothing bad on nobody, but I need them to be held responsible for what they did. And, you know, I got aggravated with stuff like that, but it, it's like, it's making me face a lot of things that I thought I was over. It comes back up. It's like, okay, we, we need you to heal from this. And I'm like, all right, I get it. But they're making me do that. So if you're going through these situations, trust and believe. It's not for you to be punished. It's not for you to be thinking, oh, why am I still thinking about this? Because they need you to face every fear that you have. Anything that you have a weakness to, they're making you face it now. So it's like the higher frequencies you are prone to, to manifest. And even sometimes you don't even notice you're doing it. You know, some people got to practice it. Some of y'all is like, as well as me, it's something you can do on a natural basis. It's half of the time you don't even realize you're doing it. But just trust and believe 
know that you are being activated, you are starting to intensify on a lot of things. Whatever your gift is, trust and believe, it's going to get stronger and stronger by the days. The more you breathe, the stronger it gets. So, you know, I want you to drop me a line. Let me know if that's a validation towards you. They're having you manifest. The more you manifest towards your gift and the higher frequencies you get, your gift is being intensified. You are going to start being more prone to things that you're going to see that you're usually not seeing. Things that you probably don't even dabble in, you're going to end up dabbling in them and don't even know that you're doing them. There are more things that you're going to have to face, more things that are going to come up to you that you probably weren't aware of yourself. They're bringing that to the forefront for you to know. Because whatever they're doing, they're 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 wanting you. It's like we're going through a boot camp. So by the time it goes, it's probably gonna be like the 300. I've never seen that, but they're telling me it's gonna be kind of like 300. But it's not. We're fighting everything, but it's like you're gonna have a strength of all those soldiers in the movie, like the 300. So <laughs> when they're putting this in front of me, and I'm like, you know, when I forgot the old guy's name was the, the real handsome guy that was the main guy. But, you know, it's not take away our freedom. You know, all that crazy stuff is, is kind of like that because they're giving me that visual that where all the empaths are being activated. All their powers are being intensified. So whatever is getting ready to go on, they need you to have that. You have to have your game face on. Basically, that's what they're telling me. You need to have your game face on. So the more that you manifest, this is the more of the things that you're going to have to be prone to knowing that you're going to go through. And if you haven't gone through it, trust, believe me, it's about to happen. So don't believe, don't think that you're going crazy. Don't think that you're alone on this because we're all going through it. And it's just like right now, my third eye is like popped wide open and it really hurts. So if you see me frowning a little bit, that's the reason why, because that mess is popped open and I, I really feel it. And I don't know if it's from this, this meditation, but I'm like, great. But knowing all these are for a reason, they might have you going in solitude, you know, cutting off from social media right now. You're, you're getting to know yourself. You're loving yourself more. They have you facing the things that you need to face, healing from the things that you need to heal from, knowing the things that you need to know. So trust and believe you're going to be going through this because they need all this to be solved and all of these things to be cease and desist before we go to that next chapter. So I hope this is able to help you. It gave you come out some kind of validation or confirmation. You know, like I told you, I get I'm prone open to the universe now. So whatever things I ask to receive, they they are just sending me so many downloads and upgrades right now to the point where my third eye is like cracking the hell open. So I will talk to y'all in my next video. I'm gonna do a few more videos, and like I said earlier, I apologize for y'all seeing me on that emotional moment, but hey, it happens sometimes. So like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell, drop me a line. I love the chance to hear from you. Let me know. You know, I'm giving everybody the shout outs. I forgot to get the other name, but Lost Puppy. Much love to you. Hey Oka. Let me see. Haley, uh, the alien vegan. And uh Diamond King, much love to you. Many blessings. What's up? What's up? And, um, you know, know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And send out as much love and light as you possibly can to anybody you possibly need. You know, that possibly needs it because everybody needs that. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love to you. Peace and be wild.